What's up guys, it's M Squared, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install the VMPC 2000 XL emulator as a standalone and a plugin. Also, I do have one-on-one -on -one private virtual lessons and consultations available. I'll leave all the information in the description to get in touch. Now let's get into the video. All right, so let's get started on downloading and installing the VMPC 2000 XL version 0 0.9.0 .0, release candidate 12 i'm using mac so i'm on mac os sequoia 15.6.1 so the first thing you're going to do once you've entered the website i'm going to go to mac os right here click on that now a pop-up box is going to show it's going to ask you where you'd like to download it i'm going to put mine in downloads i'm going to click on save i'm going to double click that to install it Okay, then it's gonna give you another pop-up here. It says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. And I'm gonna hit allow. And you're gonna get the install prompts. You'll be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. Click continue. Then choose the disk or the hard drive that you'd like to download the program to. I'm gonna download it to my Macintosh HD here. Hit continue. It's gonna ask you about a custom install for your Mac HD. I like to keep all of these checked, LV2, AU, VST3, and the standalone AU V3. So I like to have all these checked and I'm gonna hit continue. Next is gonna tell you that this will take up 128.6 megabytes of space on your computer. I click install. Enter my password and install. Now it's gonna write the files. It's gonna show you the progress bar as it finishes the install. And there it is, installation was successful. That's how you know that you've installed it correctly. Now you're gonna hit close. It's gonna ask, do you want to move the VMPC 2000 XL installer to the trash? Move to trash. So now I'm gonna start with the standalone version. I'm gonna to go to my finder window, new finder window, go to applications, which is where you're gonna find it. Scroll until you see the VMPC 2000 XL right here. Double click to open and there it is the VMPC 2000 XL emulator. So I've already had a session saved from my previous version, so it recalls that. I'm gonna click no on this, and it's gonna recognize my controller, the MPD 218. I'm gonna click yes, and there you have it. That's how you install the standalone version. I'm just gonna drag some sounds in now to demonstrate that it's working. I have a kick here. Bring in a hat. That's my clap. So now we have the standalone version working. Let's load up the plugin version and the DAW. I'm using Logic Pro X. Okay, so I'm in Logic Pro X 11.2.2. First thing I wanna do is go to this plus sign right here. I'm gonna add a MIDI track. Click on MIDI. Click on create. Now you have your MIDI track. Next, I'm gonna go over to instrument right here. Click on that. Go to AU instruments, then go to Eismar, and then you'll see the VMPC 2000 XL AU V3 that you've downloaded. Go to stereo, same thing as the standalone version. You'll see that it recognizes uh, my controller, MPD 218 that I'm using. I'm gonna hit yes. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna load a few sounds in just to demonstrate that it's working. Okay, I'm gonna take that kick there, hit full level. Now I'm gonna find a snare. There's my snare. And also make sure that these files that you're dragging into the pads are a dot .wave file format. Again, it has to be a dot .wave file format in order for the files to be compatible to be loaded on to the pads here in this program. Now I'm gonna look for a hi-hat. And there you have it. There is the classic MPC 2000 XL in emulator form right here inside of your computer. You can use it as a standalone or you can use it as a plugin inside of your DAW. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.